Welcome to Sunday School for ages 12 to 14 for June 20th, 2021. I do not own the rights to this music. Healed by faith. The memory verse is found in Mark chapter 5, verse 36. As soon as Jesus heard the word that was spoken, he saith unto the ruler of the synagogue, Be not afraid, only believe. Matthew looked at his little brother, Reagan. Ready? He asked. Take a deep breath. Pump your arms like the wheels of a train. Three-year-old Reagan moved his arms back and forth with all the energy his little body could muster. Matthew read as Reagan pretended to be a train climbing over the couch and under the table. Say it with me. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can, said the little blue engine. Matthew laughed and closed the tattered book. Reagan didn't care about the end of the story. He just wanted to play trains with his brother now. Dad stepped over the boys as they chugged across the living room floor. Matthew, I just thought of a way to explain something to you. Remember when you said it was hard to understand the difference between believing God and just thinking positive thoughts? Matthew nodded. Dad continued, some people are like that, trained. They think their job is to quote positive mantras, try harder and worry less. In other words, they just keep saying, I think I can, I think I can. If the situation turns out badly, they assume they didn't have enough faith. Believing God is different. Because I have a relationship with God, I know in my heart He has my best interest in mind. I can believe God based on God's love, not because I'm working harder or saying the magic words. I know God's love. Therefore, I'm confident He will give me His best. Faith causes something to stir inside me, allowing me to rest and know God is in control. Our lesson scripture is found in Matthew chapter 9, verses 18 through 26. And that reads, While he spake these things unto them, behold, there came a certain ruler and worshipped him, saying, My daughter is even now dead. But come and lay thy hand upon her, and she shall live. And Jesus arose and followed him, and so did his disciples. And behold, a woman which was diseased with an issue of blood twelve years came behind him and touched the hem of his garment. For she said within herself, If I may but touch his garment, I shall be whole. But Jesus turned him about, and when he saw her, he said, Daughter, be of good comfort. Thy faith hath made thee whole. And the woman was made whole from that hour. And when Jesus came into the ruler's house and saw the minstrels and the people making a noise, he said unto them, Give place, for the maid is not dead, but sleepeth. And they laughed him to scorn. But when the people were put forth, he went in and took her by the hand, and the maid arose. And the fame hereof went abroad into all that land. Healed by faith. Human bodies react to storms of life, which cause stress. If a lion chases you, adrenaline rushes through your body, forces your heart and brain to command your arms and legs to move. Your body responds with purpose. That's a good thing. Unfortunately, even when there are no threatening lions in our lives, worries create perpetual stress. Anxiousness limits hope and peace. A person's body and mind continually react in a fight or flight mode. Research has proven a connection between undue stress and illness. Research also shows connections between faith and healing. Faith brings hope in times of illness, 
and death. Hope allows believers to celebrate God's calm. Celebrate. The C in celebrate stands for come. The E in celebrate stands for embrace God's. The L stands for love. The E stands for earnestly. The B stands for believe. The R stands for rely on faith. The A stands for affirm the hope. T stands for trust powerful God. E stands for exclusively. In today's story, Matthew's dad showed the difference between just saying the right words and believing based on a relationship with Jesus Christ. The kind of faith Jairus and the woman demonstrated was based on Jesus Christ. They broke through the crowd, reached out to Jesus and believed. In what areas do you need to believe in faith? In what areas do you need to believe in faith? Partner with a friend and share about an area in your life where you wish you had more faith. Pray for each other. Matthew chapter 21 verse 22 says, And all things whatsoever ye shall ask in prayer, believing ye shall receive. John chapter 3 verse 16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. John chapter 6 verse 35 says, And Jesus said unto them, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger, and he that believeth on me shall never thirst. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6. But without faith it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Romans chapter 10 verse 17. So then faith come, cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Proverbs chapter 3 verses 5 and 6. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he will direct thy path. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 7. For we walk by faith, not by sight. Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10. Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee. Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 14. Heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved, for thou art my praise. Jeremiah chapter 33, verse 6. Behold, I will bring it health and cure, and I will cure them, and will reveal unto them the abundance of peace and truth. Isaiah 53, verse 5. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. Psalm 103, verses 2 through 4. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgiveth all thine iniquities, who healeth all thy diseases, who redeemeth thy life from destruction, who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies. 
3 John chapter 1, verse 2. Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospereth. Psalm 147, verse 3. He healeth the broken in heart, and bindeth up their wounds. Proverbs chapter 17, verse 22. A merry heart doeth good like a medicine, but a broken spirit dryeth the bones. James chapter 5, beginning at verse 13. Is any among you afflicted? Let him pray. Is any merry? Let him sing psalms. Is any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick, and the Lord shall raise him up. And if he have committed sins, they shall be forgiven him. Confess your faults one to another, and pray one for another, that ye may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Psalm 23 The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still, the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Exodus chapter 15, verse 26. And said, If thou wilt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, and will do that which is right in his sight, and will give ear to his commandments, and keep all his statutes, I will put none of these diseases upon thee, which I have brought upon the Egyptians, for I am the Lord that healeth thee. God, we thank you for this lesson in the name of Jesus. We are praying, we are standing in agreement and praying the prayer of faith, Father, in the name of Jesus, that your healing take place all across the land in the name of Jesus. We know your word, Father, that says, if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. In the name of Jesus, we thank you for your word, Father. In the name of Jesus, that leads us and guides us, Father. In the name of Jesus, into all truth. In the name of Jesus, we humble ourselves, Father, and pray and seek your face and turn from our wicked ways. And we know that you are hearing us now and forgiving us now, Father. And healing is taking place right now. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Thank God and amen. God bless you. And thank you for joining me today.